Good morning guys and welcome to another video. As you can probably tell from the title, we're gonna do a video today about the roof on my MX-5 and cleaning it. So when I picked this car up, it had sort of a greeny tinge to the roof, didn't bother me too much at the time, and then it progressively got worse and worse and um, I wanted to take the car to Surrey Car Meets Meet at Buckmore Park. You can watch a video of that um, in the description, I'll put a link in. But basically I didn't want to have a green roof around all these supercars and who wants to have a green roof at the end of the day? And so I did a clean of the roof. Now I couldn't really find any really good videos on YouTube about how to clean the roof. So um, that's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> that I'm going to use is the Auto Glim Convertible Soft Top Clean and Protect Complete Kit. This kit comprises of a soft top protector, soft top cleaner and a sponge. On top of this I actually bought this uh, black brush which uh, I got off Amazon so I'll put the links for all this stuff in the bottom but I think the uh, soft top cleaning kit was about £20 off Amazon and I think this was about £5, um, correct me if I'm wrong myself in the future. Step number one is don't wear a cream or white jumper because all the mould and the gunk that's going to come off the the roof is going to go straight onto your jumper. Step number two is to brush off the roof and get all the loose uh, mold and any bird droppings that are on it. You can also hoover it but uh, because I've got the brush I'm just going to brush away. So you'll know if you follow me on Instagram that I keep this car under cover and you can actually see that all the uh, fluff from the cover gets onto the roof and it really sticks out because it's a white cover so you get white fluff on a black roof so I'm just trying to brush all of that off now. See so here a bird dropping stain, so a bird pooped on the car, thank you very much, and it uh, left this sort of white stain after I tried wiping it off. You can also see that bugs absolutely love this car. When I'm brushing over this stain, it's not actually getting rid of it, if anything it's probably making it slightly worse. So after you've brushed off all the loose dirt, you actually now need to dampen the roof, so I'm going to use a hose pipe for that, but I have used a bucket before. Autoglim actually recommend that you do all of this outside of direct sunlight, which you don't actually have much control over, but we're going to do our best. It's probably the only time that I pray for a cloud when I have a convertible. So you can see that because I've done this before, when I pour the water on the roof, most of it runs straight off, and that's because of the soft top protector that's in the Auto Glim kit, which actually makes it very hard to make the roof damp because you can see the water doesn't want to stick, it just runs straight off. So I have actually uh, reverted to using the sponge to try and get some of the water to get, actually get into the roof before I apply the cleaner. Next step is to spray the soft top cleaner onto the roof and agitate it with the white sponge. You've got to make sure that the uh, white sponge is actually damp otherwise it's not going to do as much. It smells really good. So I've almost done the whole of the roof now. Quite difficult to see sometimes where you've sprayed it but if you get any on the glass it's like the opposite of glass cleaner. You're meant to scrape it off because what it does is it stains the glass. Um, unlike a glass cleaner, so you can see I've got some overspray there. So what I'm going to do now is actually uh, just rub that off. Okay, so the next step, I've covered the roof in the uh, cleaner and now I'm going to dampen the white sponge and start scrubbing, working the cleaner into the roof and it should go white and that's basically going to be the cleaner start cleaning inside the fabric, inside the pairs of the fabric. And I'm going to do this over the whole roof. And again, it smells really good. What I like to do is try and work in lines. So I'm going with the lines of the roof. I don't know if it makes any difference or not, but I don't want to have swirls in the roof. Helps if you've got quite long arms for this. So where this car suffers quite badly is around the glass. So I can see that all along the stitching, has uh, all the green specks and all the brown specks from the dirt on there. So all I'm going to do is really work the way around the window. Obviously can't do my straight line rule on this, but I'll try my best. And I can feel with my fingers through the sponge where the glass is. What I'm also trying to do is follow the contour of the metal bars that I can feel underneath the roof. So another area that gets dirty on the Mazdas is inside this seam here. So I guess this seam is designed to catch the water and then dispel it so that it doesn't fall down the on the glass but actually if you start scrubbing in here you'll see that the cloth gets quite dirty and you can actually tell sometimes by the foam although mine is quite clean but the foam here will sometimes go brown if this seam is dirty. So what I've done for the stains that I know are hard to get out is that I've got the brush and I've just wet it and I'm going to scrub really lightly 
on the area that I know the stain is. And you could even do this all the way around the glass as well. Basically any area that's hard to get the stain out, keep wetting the brush and you start seeing that the soap is gonna to start to go green on the areas with the stain. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is rinse off the roof and I'm trying to get all of the soap out because now we've cleaned it, we need to get all the dirty soap out of the fabric. I'm gonna do this with a low pressure hose, but you can also do with a bucket. I wouldn't recommend to do it with a uh, jet washer or pressure washer because that's probably gonna just leave the swirl marks on the roof if you're doing it with a pressure washer. So what you're looking for is to get all of this white soap out of the fabric. And again, it's gonna come down the sides, but I am gonna clean those off afterwards. How much cleaner did I put on it? You can see now, compared to earlier on in the video, how the roof is completely saturated with water. So as you can see now, I've gone around the whole roof with the hose and I've wiped it down with the sponge as well. And you can see there's hardly any bubbles coming out that are left over from the cleaner. So now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is protection. Weird. Now we're going to apply the soft top protector and you want to apply this onto a damp roof so obviously because you've just cleaned it it's going to be damp. Don't do this the next day on a dry roof because it won't penetrate into the fabric. So you want to apply this in a sweeping motion across the roof and that's to make sure that it doesn't dry and leave any patches because you'll be able to see this. So applying along the seams of the car. The only thing I can think of improvements for Autoglim is uh, these bottles, the squeezy bits. They really hurt your fingers after a while. Maybe I've just got weak fingers. So I've applied the protector and if you look at the roof here, you can see how it's almost like a pearlescent sort of white color in the protector. I don't know if that comes across on camera, but you can tell that it's got the protector applied because it's sort of got this blue hue on it. And what you want to do as a final step is to uh, wipe all the excess that you've got off on the windows. So I'm just going to go around the car now, quickly wipe all the excess off all the windows, even though that normally I would recommend cleaning the glass after this. So one last point is you want to make sure that you get all of the uh, rooftop protector off the paintwork as well as the seals. You see how it's sort of pearlescent here. All that's going to do is dry on your paint and dry on your seals and it's going to go into white blotches which are going to be really difficult to remove at a later date. Okay, so that concludes the video today. The roof is much cleaner, it's drying nicely here and you're meant to wait for it to completely dry before you drive the car. Bit of a different video from me today. If you like this sort of video, please comment in below and I'll do some more stuff like this. I've also booked my first track day in the MX-5 so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that and as always, thank you very much for watching. Cheers. just been joined by a cat. Can you see it? No idea where that's come from. Hello.